This mission was really about two things. The first was a scientific mission of uh, locating submerged shorelines and better understanding where they form in the Channel Islands and how to find them. So the second mission was this technology testing mission on the autonomous surface vessel. The EV Nautilus has its multi-beam mapping system. And then the remotely operated vehicle, Hercules, also had a mapping system on it. So we were trying to understand the process of finding these cave features then looking at them and really exploring them with the remotely operated vehicles. Yeah. This is new terrain to Nautilus. Huh. That looks intriguing down there. The University of New Hampshire's Center for Coastal Ocean Mapping uh, brought their autonomous surface vehicle with them. This was a small boat that was controlled by a, a remote control or you can program it on a mission and send it off to do seafloor mapping. Small features or high detail on features along coastlines and shallow areas. Places that were too close to shore and too dangerous for Nautilus to get, we could send this boat. It helped us to identify areas to send cave divers to look for caves and to uh, further explore. As often happens with exploration, it's um, something that wasn't planned, wasn't part of the original mission. We had some downtime between dives. We looked at Osborne Bank, that we found these magnificent caves that the ROV was able to get really close up in. And um, we were able to refine our process of using the mapping data enough to understand what it is we have to do to be efficient explorers in the future. Sandy bottom and the wall. That's where the caves are. And the magic depth is 60. We've feet. proven that we can find these features. It was really exciting to have made such discoveries on something that wasn't part of the original plan and have it really validate our thought process, our methodology that we developed over the cruise.